So I got into the NC. It was uh, not necessarily on purpose. I started autocrossing maybe six years ago. I had a 350Z. I could do some track stuff with it, uh, but it wasn't real competitive. So I wanted something more competitive. So I bought an NB, 99 NB hard S three years ago. And autocross that for two years. Car's a blast. Uh, lots of fun, competitive in class, you know, lots of fast drivers nationally. But I've been doing champ car racing for about the same amount of time. And I really wanted to do more track stuff. And I didn't want to cut up the NB and put a roll bar in it and some other stuff that I'd want to do to have fun on a track. So I started looking for NAs, other NBs, and NC. I didn't really know much about the NC. I just, you know, hear all the stories, you know, it's a boat, it's terrible, it's the worst Miata. Uh, but I reached out to a guy, a friend I knew, uh, Ben Crow, had it, had well, this car, and uh, I was like, you know, tell me about the NC, you know, what's good, what's bad, and so we're talking, and he's like, actually, you know, I think I'm going to be selling mine. That we put that on the back burner, and then I decided to pull the trigger and sold my NB in about three hours to a guy from Chicago, flew out the next day, drove it back, and then I, you know, worked out the details with Ben, and now I've got it. So it's got a... Uh, Olin shocks, Olin suspension, coilovers, PPE, long tube, header, cold air intake, you can see up in the front. It's got a single exit race exhaust in the back and a mid pipe all the way through. So it uh, sounds, sounds awesome. Uh, it's got uh, 17 by 9 uh, U. LLs, right? Not six UVs. ULs. Six ULs. Six ULs. I don't even know what they are. Whatever. They're good wheels. Yeah, so my plans for the car, I've done the autocross thing, so I'm still going to do autocross with it, and I still can in the current state. It's not the most competitive car in street touring roadster, uh, but it's fun. Uh, but my plan was to do more track stuff, uh, a couple of, you know, track days, but uh, time trials more or less. So uh, I have a roll bar on the way. Track days and time trials that is the goal. Family racing is something we've always done, and my dad started the, the race team, Kruger Toon Racing, KTR. So I don't the license plate, and I have KTR 5. I figured I'm the fifth one with my dad, my uncle, my oldest brother, my cousin, and me. There's some other people in, in there family-wise, but didn't really get into racing. So I, I figure I'm the fifth. He started that race team in 1959 and uh, did sports car racing, raced the 24 hours of Daytona with Brock Yates Sr. Uh, and a Dodge Dart. He did like the 12 hours of Sebring, did a bunch of the races across the Northeast. My uncle, my uncle Walt, my J cousin JC, they did the One F of America maybe three or four times with Brock Jr. You know, he heads that up. And so I went to a couple of those events and just kind of like helped out on a close day, mid Ohio or summit, summit uh, point. Kind of got the bug a little bit. The sticker on the back of the car is a, a Kruger Tune Racing. It's newly designed, it's a connecting rod. So the connecting rod of our family from my dad down to uh, through me and, and my son, Michael, is, is, uh, is 20 and he's doing the autocross thing too and looking to get into champ car racing with us too. So it's just a you know, connecting rod, connecting the family. Everybody hates on NCs, saying they're you know, not a Miata. If you say that and you haven't driven one, your input's probably not very valid. Uh, they are exceptional. I've driven this car before, and I love it. And I, I was one of you beforehand. I ripped on NCs constantly. But after driving this one, I almost thought about buying one as a daily. Uh, you know, power retractable hardtop, leather seats, creature comforts, air conditioning. You can tell there is a lot more torque in this than your standard NA and B. And for the cost that NAs and NBs are getting to now, you can get an NC like this. I mean, this is a 2006. It's got intake, uh, header, exhaust, coilovers, and wheels. Uh, and it, it's a screamer. And it feels power to weight wise, not as fast as the K, but not far off. It's definitely not a turbo motor. And it definitely does not feel like a boat, even though everybody says, oh, they're boaty cars. This is the SS Miata. Never a third gear pull. Oh, yeah. This is a 
exceptional. My car has creature comforts in it. It's not like this. This has power steering. There's digital parts of the dashboard. It's got a radio, factory, AC, and yes, you can have all those things in another older Miata. But we all know it's just not as refined as something from you know this decade or the previous decade. The throttle response is fantastic. I believe these are electronic throttle. There's no lag. Uh, you put your foot down, it, it responds immediately. If I lived in Florida, I would daily drive one of these before I daily drove an NA. I said it. I'm getting so many looks with this captain's hat. Nobody knows me, it's fine. that are outside of, you know, the two, two liter, two five zone that these came with. I think. Oh yeah, you can't beat that. This is the first time I've ever driven Uneducated? Is it just because that's what everyone says about them? Let's find out, shall we? One of the first things I noticed when getting in here, it's very familiar. There are a lot of things that are paying homage to the NA. A lot of similarities. Where the vents are, the gauge is similar. I get in here and I feel like I am in a modern Miata, which goes against everything I would hear on the internet. tripping this car right now. That's a wrap. Uh, 
Uh, just drove Mark's NC, which is sweet. If you haven't driven an NC yet, you should probably go do it. Yeah, a lot of fun. Absolutely. I don't know where this whole like boat meme came from, but uh, it's it's awesome. It really does feel like a Miata. Um, I haven't driven all the generations, to be fair, but I don't see a disconnection really between mine and and yours and the NC. They felt very similar. Um, so yeah, no, it was awesome. Awesome, great, great first experience for me. And I think with the way parts and prices are going, that the NC is probably going to end up being the new NA. You know, cheap to find, cheap to buy, or sorry, easy to find, cheap to buy. And the parts are going to be super affordable now that the ND is populating the market. So Absolutely. Uh, overlooked by many, unloved by many, and I think it's going to have its time to shine yeah. soon at some point. Because, um, yeah, like the platform themselves, they can hold a lot of power and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, like transmission wise and, and drivetrain wise, unlike our fragile little NAs yeah. that need to, you know, be coaxed <laughs> above 200, 250 horsepower. Um, yeah, the NCs are a lot more stout. So that's pretty cool. So if you like this, subscribe down below, leave a comment. Um, we've got more reviews coming your way. Another Miata one today, yes, but we've got more other cars coming soon as well. So stay tuned to that and follow along. One and done. One and done. Thanks. I got so many good looks driving with it on the expressway. Yeah.